This week I want to share with you one key on your computer keyboard that lets you deep search any website very easily. Hi, this is Larry Kay with ShadowAnyone.com and the creator of the Investigator's Ultimate Guide series, which is premium private investigator training from someone who's been there and done that. Yes, there is a key on your computer keyboard you've probably never used that's very helpful when you're searching websites for particular pieces of information. So the pipe key is probably the key that you've never seen before on your keyboard, but it's very helpful when you're formatting a search like this. Now this is often called uh, Open Source Intelligence Gathering or OSINT, Open Source Intelligence. So if you want to see uh, a company and you want to see documents or things that they have there, uh, this is a method that will help you search their website very quickly for those types of things. Now, it works with uh, the world's largest search engine. I am not a fan at all and try not to use it if at all possible, but this works with Google. And so the uh, phrase you might hear tossed around as people do these types of things is Google hacking or Google dorking. This works because Google has specific commands that they allow you to use to really narrow a search down and it's very helpful. So if you want to search just a particular site, you can type site colon and the website one space and then the word you're looking for. So site colon the website one space and whatever word or phrase you're looking for. So if you have a particular interest in walruses and you want to know what a a party, a political party, has to say what their platform is on walruses, you can type into Google site colon and that party's website, a space, and the word walrus, and everywhere the word walrus shows up in their website will pop up for you to see. Now, this is obviously very helpful because you don't care about every place on the internet that that shows up, only in this one particular uh, resource, this one particular website. Now why this is cool for you as a private investigator, maybe you're doing background check or skip tracing, but you're looking for something particular at maybe say a company's website. You can use a string of searches just on that website and it looks something like this. Don't worry about trying to type this command in off the screen. I have it uh, listed in the description below for you to cut and paste or over at shadowanyone.com. Uh, find the article I have on this uh, and you can just cut and paste it right from there as well. And what this allows you to do is look for specific file extensions. So, for example, the extension PDF. What PDF files does this website have available? Uh, the extension DOC, what docs like Word docs uh, or uh, other type of word processing documents that use that extension, or PowerPoint or Excel. You can look for spreadsheet type programs that they have on their website that are legally accessible to the general public. I did do a little bit of searching around for a website that would not mind uh, this type of uh, deep searching. Uh, and the website that I chose, they kind of build themselves as a playground for experimenting with computer type things. So I didn't feel bad about using them. I, I don't know who will own that domain in the future, so I don't want to expose too much. But you can see here, I typed in this exact uh, search command this, this string command that uh, I'm giving you here and a bunch of things came up and these are all documents, PDFs and spreadsheets and things like that, that that I would be interested in for that website. Now in the real world there are some things you're going to find very interesting when you do this specifically for a company or a website that you're interested in and I'll just give you one very vanilla example is you might come up with a bunch of press releases, media releases that that company has issued over the years in say that PDF format. And so this, this is what came up recently for me for one website I was looking at. They uh, had some things that they were touting as very exceptional and they were pleased and they were hoping the media would pick up on and spread around. But about 30 days later there was a, a terrible snafu. Things went terribly wrong and all of a sudden the company starts to distance themselves from this thing that they used to kind of take pride in. And it was just interesting to go back and see where to have these documents, these past issued press releases that uh, they were so proud of and then how the tables had turned in such a short period of time. I will let your creative investigator mind think of all the ways this might help you with skip tracing or background checks or other investigations you're doing. 
I will just leave you with this one solid piece of advice regarding this or any of the tips and tricks I share with you. Remember, do the right thing, even if it's the hard thing.